Welcome to another portrait editing video. If you haven't checked my other portrait tutorials, I will leave them in the description. Also, download link to images used in this video as well. Enjoy. First, let's go to File, New to create a document with the size of 1080 by 1080. This is a very good size for social media. And then move the model image into Photoshop. All the way up here, you just drop it. Now I am using the Photoshop version 2020, in, in this version you can double click the background and go all the way to the properties and press remove background. It might take a while and if you are using older versions you can use the selection tool such as the quick selection tools. Once you are done with this, go to adjustment layer and create a solid color which can be very dark, put it down. And now we are noticing that some part of the image is added, we don't want that. To solve this, what you do is right click on the layer masking and press select and mask. Now select this tool, which is the second one, and now click drag it onto the hair, right to the edges of the hair, all the way around the head. Now I think, yeah, that's it, press OK. Two additional parts, which is not right. So what you do is select the layer masking and select the color black and get the brush tool. Reduce the size of the brush all the way down and just erase the unwanted parts like this. Right. Down here also, I'm just seeing some extra parts additional. Let me quickly erase that as well. This you just click drag it's done now before you move this to the other document i highly recommend right click on the layer and press convert to smart object this way when you get the move tool and when you drag it to the other documents and since the image is too big when you resize to a small size it will not lose any of its quality that's the best part of smart objects right now we'll hide the layer for now okay now let's drag drop our background image increase its size bring it down just to make sure it is not noticeable not much noticeable by going to filter blur Gaussian blur and then little bit of make it blur like this increase it too much and bring it all the way down until we it's noticeable as leaves leaves in the background so like that then press ok now go and select the rectangle tool disable the fill and enable stroke with white color and just click drag it like this now i feel like the thickness of the border is too much so let's reduce that as well maybe to nine it's all up to you so this is going to be the neon lights and then you just right click on that I guess even before we do that let's take copy and select the copy and hide the first one and change go to rectangle tool back again and change the stroke color to a very bright looking uh, green this is fine for me and then you have to take a duplicate as well so yeah let's select the middle one and go to filter filter blur Gaussian blur and it's asking to rasterize it's totally fine press rasterize and now increase it not too much that's too, very way too much so let's increase it maybe like this and i'll press ok not too much now select the the last one which is in the very bottom now go to once again filter blur gaussian blur and then it will ask you to rasterize you press rasterize and now increase it even more than the previous one a little bit more than the previous one now you just press ok if you need to make this much more bright and stuff you just select whichever you want I'm going to select the middle one and press ctrl J so that now as you can see it's becoming more bright if I do that again for the 
the very bottom one the last one control j now it's all bright now it's good but we have to make sure this bulb or whatever you want to call this i would call this as a bulb so this bulbs blurriness also should be a little we have to increase that so before we go there and we'll first rasterize the layer and then filter blur and then gaussian blur not too much it's all the way up so we just want to increase give it a little bit of blur not much then press ok that's it i'm done with the neon lights and select every layer belongs to the neon light uh, Control e to merge them or uh, i think it's better before doing that more than doing that we'll rest we'll convert this all the layers to smart object now just put it down and by holding alt just click drag by holding all just click drag so we got we are getting another copy and do the same thing until you are, are getting another copy as well so we have three copies select all the three and too, it's too much in size so let's reduce Rotate it as well. I think even before I do anything, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink its size like this. So we, we feel like it's a square before it was not. So yeah, until you feel like everything is a square like this. Now you can rotate it and reducing the size much more and then you press ok now select the model and select the last which is the neon light and you just have to make sure you put the last neon light all the way on top of the model so we are getting a, uh, the other two is behind him and this the third one is in front of him that's what i want if you want to do anything else such as like this or anything it's all up to you but i'm just going to leave it like this and just keep the bottom part of the model all the way down here in the neon light and decide whether you want him to be in the center or somewhere in the corner like this so what i feel like this is totally fine for me and now we'll remove these all the unwanted parts of the model to do this it's very very easy all you have to do is just make sure you get the polygonal lasso tool and before that rasterize the model layer like that and just trace the neon light like that and go all the way around and finish where you started now you just get the eraser tool and erase the part of the body and now press ctrl d to deselect the selection so now we have to add the reflections select the model and go to adjustments layer and select hue saturation and press create clipping mask as colorize as well and change the hue to green and increase saturation and increase lightness little bit and then double click right here to go to layer styles option now if you see this underlying layer and all you have to do is just bring this little bit all the way to this side and now hold down control and click drag on the slider not control hold down alt and click drag on the slider you'll start to notice that now you will get a feeling like the light is actually reflecting on his body so that's, that's exactly what I want to do like this also adjust this now it looks way more natural that's exactly what we want then press ok now select this layer masking and press ctrl i to invert that B for the brush tool and now what I want you to do is just paint on the body where you think the light will be reflecting but before you do this the hardness should be all the way zero and you just have to paint on the body where you think the light will be reflected so 
so you just do like this just uh, I'm just going to leave the face out because when I fill it all the way with green it does it looks a little bit odd there so yeah now one thing we can, can clearly notice is that there is no way if there is all the way neon lights around his body there is no way that there will be shadows underneath here so what we have to do is we have to make it bright so once again go to the top create a hue saturation and cr press create clipping mask and don't forget colorize it and bring green and increase all the way the lightness and increase the lightness so that there there won't be any shadows there now invert this layer masking as well press B for the brush tool and just click on the shadows I feel like it's too much so let's reduce the opacity like that and yeah look at the before and after now it's it's much more okay compared to before now let's make the scene look much more interesting so on top of the model I'm going to create a new layer B for brush tool get it and sample a color which is green and you just have to click on maybe on the face there's a click right there and all the way here you just have to click and drag now what I did was I just added some colors and changed the blending mode to screen when I do that see there's a some kind of uh, popping effect that's very nice now now to we'll make sure we'll create some leaves and not exactly leaves like maybe glowing light particles floating around create a new layer to do this B for brush tool and then reduce the hardness maybe somewhere maybe we'll keep it like 80 and then you just have to click also I'll make sure the green is much more bright enough so just have to click like this and then just shrink it from a side go to filter blur motion blur and then do something like this and if you want you can change the direction I feel like this is okay if you like you can make it blur as well I'm going to make sure I'm going to convert this to a smart object and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and increase the blur now it's applied to the smart object not to the actual layer now select the smart object and press ctrl i b for brush tool and now you can add it to to only to a one side like this if you want to just added some green uh, blur effect for that now you just have to place it hope you got the idea so yeah now you just have to create a new layer and go to image and press apply image and press ok go to filter blur and select radial blur if you want you can increase it and you just have to press ok so that the image will look like it is rotating right so what I'm going to do is increase it all the way like this and apply a layer masking for that by selecting this B for the brush tool and increase the size of the brush and hardness to zero and you just have to just click somewhere in the middle like this click somewhere in the middle until you feel like overall the image is becoming into visible like that now we'll go to images choose file folder and drag drop this overlay and increase its size and just put it down below and apply a layer masking for that and B for brush tool and erase the top part like this like that will be totally fine now change the blending mode of the layer to to exclusion that's looking nice I guess I'm also going to duplicate it rotate it putting it to the top as well now to make the colors look more vibrant you have to add a new layer go to image 
and apply image now go to filter and camera raw filter at this point it's all up to your personal preference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the green little bit of green there and i'll try with the temperature as well i don't think that's nice maybe a little bit of a blue into that and uh, exposure not a good idea what about contrast no highlights no and the shadows maybe i can increase the shadows a little bit what about the white so when i increase the white it's looking even more nice not too much don't overexpose something like that and the texture I'm going to increase uh, clarity all the way is a not good a good idea to do anything with that most of the times yeah now you can control the vibrance I'm going to increase the vibrance and not going to do anything with the saturation so how am I resetting this is you just double click on the slider so it will go back to zero you just have to press ok now and look at the before and after so we have a huge change there thank you for staying till the end of this video if you haven't already subscribed go and do that see you on my next video